All right, you're pitching to the sharks of Shark Tank India as the next Miss World. Give it a shot. Thank you. Namaste, everyone. Sorry, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> so firstly, when I stand here, I represent 1.4 million people of Trinidad and Tobago. And what I can offer Miss World is the mindset of my people. In India, I know you say, Vasudev Kubansik, Tudam, sorry I butchered it. <laughs> but the point is you say, the world is one family. In Sweet TNT, we say may every creed and race find an equal place. And so when I, uh, the way I live my life is with that motto, with that mantra. And I believe Miss World has a similar mantra. I believe when you have compassion and understanding for differences, you can really make a difference in the world and work hand in hand to create a bright future. For me, I'm so honored to be here and to share the mindset of TNT because we can truly make a difference. In Sweet Trinidad and Tobago, we acknowledge our similarities, but more importantly, we celebrate our differences. We see the beauty and diversity and we promote inclusion. So I would love to be part of this organization and to do so and work with you all to create a brighter future and a happy world. Thank you so much. Well done, Trinidad and Tobago. You can relax a bit now. There you go. All right, now it's your turn to pitch the Sharks of Shark Tank India. Thank you and good evening, everyone. I believe that I should be the next Miss World because I am the true essence of beauty with a purpose. For as long as I can remember, I've always used my skills, my passion, my talent, my intellect and my love to uplift the lives of those around me. I've done so through my Genesis project, which levels the playing field for children living in poverty. I use my legal expertise to offer legal solutions to those who cannot afford them. And each and every day, I share love and kindness. But most importantly, I love this platform. I love it with my whole heart and I aspire to see a world where beauty with a purpose is not just a Miss World concept but where each and every person uses that quality that makes them beautiful to uplift the lives of, the, the lives of those around them and I know that I can't do it alone and as Julia Molly says is it not better to light one candle than to not see in darkness I aspire to be the driving force that inspires the world to light their own little candles. Thank you. Thank you so much, Botswana. All right, Czech Republic, now it's your turn to pitch why you should be the next Miss World. Good evening. Namaste, India. Krasny večer, Česká republika. Dear Shark Tanks, I want you to imagine one thing. Imagine that you're a child and you have your dreams and your hopes. But as you grow older, your dreams are going further and further away. Now imagine that you are a parent and your child needs to go through the same situation, having a dream, but while growing up, the dream is going further and further. And that's because the children doesn't get the proper education to fulfill the dream career. As of 2024, it's still a fact that 250 million children are out of the school worldwide. And that's why my lifelong mission is providing quality education to unprivileged children. I believe that education is a fundamental right every child deserves. And I'm here to advocate for those children. It's something what I've been doing for a very long time, much before I entered the pageantry. It's something what's really close to my heart and what I'll be doing. Either I win or I don't win the Miss World. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Czech Republic. All right, Lebanon. Now it's your turn to say why you should be the next Miss World. Marhaba again. Well, I see Miss World as a very strong, confident woman, but most importantly, a woman with a purpose. Born and raised in Lebanon, I've learned how to spread love wherever I go, how to have respect, and how to rise after every fall, because even the biggest non-nuclear explosion in the history couldn't stop us from dreaming and achieving. So that's why I want to share with the world the resilience, Resilience, love, respect, and compassion. So to everyone listening to me now, I just want to say thank you, Lebanon, 
for teaching me how to be in this world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lebanon.